Okay, so I got the TFR1 rod here with the standard booster ready to show you a signal lock on the gold coin. It's a two gram, approximately two gram uh, gold coin from the 1900s. And I'll just point with the antenna. You see that tree over there where I'm pointing with the antenna? Just to the left of it on the bottom near the ground you can just barely make out the two orange cones. That's where the gold coin is. Right now we're at approximately 600 feet or so. So I think this is kinda close to the range with the standard uh, booster here of the TFR1 rod. So let, let me show you that I, I am getting a signal. Before I do that, let's take a look at our uh, target discriminator, make sure that we're still on two grams, which we are. Okay. Okay, and so now I'm gonna try and hold the camera steady. It's a little tricky to do this, holding the camera in one hand and holding the TFR one rod and the other, and I'm losing daylight here, so I'm going to have to do this pretty quick. But you see, I'm going to do a sweep real slow, and you will see that when I get within, I get within range of that gold coin, I get on that signal line, you'll see that the antenna, as I sweep, the antenna starts to lock in that direction. Now, I wanted to clear something up for a lot of people that ask me about this when I make these videos. How do, how do I know or how do we know that you're not manipulating the rod to point where you want? Well, that's a very good question. I'm going to clear that up right now. The rod is like a compass. It's on two stainless ball bearings. It's free pivot. See, you can turn it 360 degrees. You see that, how I'm turning it? Okay. When I'm holding it still like this, and I'm moving it back and forth, it's, it's free-floating, like a compass. So any, it's very, very tricky to get it to point where I want it to point, unless I, I hold the top like this, and I get it off of that free pivot, then I can point it where I want, you see? But if I'm holding it like this, and it's free pivoting, it's free floating, I can't really control where that antenna goes. And if it moves around a little bit, it's because I don't have it perfectly balanced. I don't have the CG in the right place. So it's, it's very, very difficult for me to take this thing and start getting it to point where I want it to point. So I just wanted to clear that up uh, for people that uh, have that question. So we're losing a little bit of sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a sweep here and you'll see how it's locking. Hold the camera steady here. See when I see if I sweep in a in a different direction, I lost my balance here. If I sweep in a different direction, you see I'm not getting that lock. That's because there's no there's no gold coins in any of these other directions out here. But as soon as I get over there by where I have the gold coin, you can see that I'm getting a lock. You see that, how it pulls? Now here's another thing I'll do real quick. I'll take it off two grams and I'll put it on an ounce. Now I know for a fact that there's not an ounce of gold out here. So I just put it on an ounce, the target discriminator. So I'm going to show you now what happens because I know that there's not an ounce of gold anywhere out here. When I do the sweeps, in that direction, I'm not getting any signals. You see that? There's no signals. That's because there's not an ounce of gold in that direction or anywhere else out here that I'm aware of. Now as soon as I put the target discriminator back on two grams, now I can hold the camera steady. Now, you will see 
that I will get a signal lock. See that? See that pull on the antenna as I sweep past the target? I'll start, I'll go wider. As soon as I get over there in that line, it pulls. It pulls to that gold coin. You see, I'm not doing that. That's the attraction. That's the attraction of the, of the antenna of the rod, kind of like a, a little radio station trying to grab on to that radio frequency. Okay. There's, there's the signal lock as I sweep as I sweep past the target. The TFR1 rod is not electronic like my other models, but it's not really a dowsing rod as I explained before. It's using some very, very powerful and potent crystals. And so these crystals just need a little bit of push from your body's bioenergy field. And they they do the rest. They, uh, they amplify that little bit of energy, kind of like a, a transformer. And they amplify that little bit of energy. And your body is mainly grounding the rod to the ground. You're the ground. Okay, so I'm going to start walking over in that direction. And I'm going to keep sweeping the TFR1 rod and show you that the gold coin is over there. And then we're going to walk back and I'm going to hook on the uh, TFR Extreme Power Amplification Booster and show you the difference. So you can see that the target is still over there. Kind of losing some, some daylight here because the clouds intersected the sun. See, I'm still getting a signal lock. See how it, the antenna pulls to the gold coin? Okay, so I'm going to just start walking with the TFR1. I'm going to walk in a, in a different direction and see if it'll, if, it'll pull, if it'll pull to the gold coin. There you can see it. You can see the TFR1 rod pulling in that direction of the gold coin. So even if I were to start walking in a completely different direction... I'll, I'll walk in the complete opposite direction and watch how it'll pull back because it's looking for that frequency. Okay, I'm just holding it balanced. I'm holding it level. And there it goes. It's trying to pull back in the opposite direction to where the gold coin is, which is back over in that direction. I gotta pause for a minute because my hand's starting to hurt. Take a little break here. But we're probably a little over 600 feet right now and I'm pointing to where the gold coin is just to the left of that big tree over there the big tree you see that I'm pointing to with the rod okay so I'm gonna start walking over towards the gold coin see if I can get a more comfortable grip on the camera okay And I'll just hold the rod, the TFR1 rod level, and we'll, I'll stop when I get closer and I'll do another sweep and show you that it's there. That's, that's a more, I had, a, I had trouble getting a comfortable grip. So let me, well, let's get a little bit closer and I'll do another sweep and show you that the, uh, the targets, it's still getting a signal on the target. Okay, we'll do a sweep right now. Okay, I'll start, I'll do it wide. Now you see, as soon as I get over there in a line with that gold coin, the TFR1 rod, now I lost the view here. As soon as I get in a line with that gold coin, see how the antenna wants to line up with it? how it pulls, kind of like a, a small tug on a fishing line when you're fishing and the fish are biting on your bait. They're nibbling on your bait. You see that pull? It's, that's your line of bearing. That's the signal line to the target. You can see. Now, if I sweep 
over in this direction. You can see the sun setting over there. Now you see I'm, there's not any poles. I'm not getting any poles. You see that? As soon as I get over there by the gold coin, wow, there's that pole. There's that pole towards the gold coin. So I'm going to just keep walking and we'll get over there. Now you can just, if you're hunting with the TFR1 rod, you don't have to sweep like I'm sweeping here for the demonstration. You can just walk anywhere in an area where you're trying to find treasure, coins, rings, whatever, and just hold the rod balanced and level and that's that takes a little practice to hold this balanced as you're walking because as I said it's free pivot kinda like a compass needle and it wants to go it kinda you know if you don't have it balanced and you're not holding it level it'll want to go all over the place but once you learn how to hold the rod balanced and level there's that there's that pull again then you will be able to easily identify your targets because the rod will pull the antenna will pull to the targets when it finds that frequency okay now we're getting close to the orange cones you see the orange cones right over there that's where the gold coin is right over there so I'm gonna get a little closer and then I'll stop and do another sweep to show you that I'm still getting a signal to the target and then I'll show you the gold coin up close it's kinda tricky doing this filming by myself Okay, I'm going to pull. Now we're going around a curve, so I'm going to try and point the rod in another direction and see if it'll pull to that gold coin, which it's already doing it. It's pulling by itself. You see how it's, I kind of lost the balance there. You see how it's pulling to the, to the cones? All right, there's the cones. That's where the gold coin is. I'm going to do another sweep here, and you can see that TFR1 rod is getting a signal. It's getting a signal lock to that gold coin. There you can see it right there. You can see it pulling. Now, if I start walking in another direction, I'll do another quick little test here. There's the gold coin right over there. We're going to start walking in another direction and you will see that at some point it'll start pulling. There it goes. It'll start pulling by itself to the gold coin. You see that? How it's pulling? It's pulling to the coin. If I, now if I start going this way, the antenna's still locked on that signal line. The attraction is very powerful, especially if you're close to the target. Okay, so we're getting here. We're getting here up to the coin. And there you go. You can see that. I'll just show you real quick. There's the gold coin. I'll shorten the antenna on the TFR1 rod. And. You'll see that as I'm right over it, it point it wants to go right to it. So there you go. So now I'm gonna walk back to where we started shooting, which is about 600 feet, and I'm gonna pause the video here while I walk over there, so we're not burning up a bunch of time on the video. And then I'm going to get out the extreme uh, power amplification booster. And I'm going to demonstrate 
uh, how much farther, how much farther we can go with this powerful uh, accessory. So just give me a minute while I get back over there, and uh, we'll do the last part of the uh, long distance uh, demonstration test here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the standard booster that comes with the TFR1 rod. I just put the camera on a tripod because it's practically impossible for me to do this and uh, hold the camera with the other hand. I can't do this with one hand, so I just set the camera up on a tripod. Just show you, I'm going to take the standard booster off right now just like that see this thing is uh... this TFR1 rod it's it's collapsible in less than a minute you could take this entire thing apart and put it in your pocket which is uh, a huge advantage if you're trying to be discreet and you're trying to be low-key somebody's coming you don't you know you're out looking for treasure somewhere and you don't want people to know what you're doing you could just take this whole thing apart front chamber antenna, the handle, the whole thing comes apart and just like that say I'll just uh, take the front chamber off real quick to show you and in less than a minute you can just pop it in your pocket see that and then the antenna comes off too so I'm gonna put that back on so yeah it's uh, people ask me sometimes you know what are the advantages of these uh, metal rods and Oops, looks like I put it on the, I put the front chamber on the back, on the back slot. So let me turn, turn this around. This is one of the big advantages of these uh, metal uh, rods, locator rods, compared to the lighter weight plastic rods, is you can take this thing apart very fast and you can hide it in your pocket. It's, it's not big at all and it's very lightweight. The other big advantage is with uh, all metal rods, the wind you got those big bulky plastic locators uh, don't need to name some of the name brands that are floating around and you get a kind of a strong wind blowing and uh, or you just get a little breeze going and it interferes with your signal sweeps the uh, TFR1 rods are uh, pretty much windproof unless you get a real strong gust and you can't use them but they can handle light winds so that's another huge advantage uh, with an all-metal locator rod besides just being able to take it apart and put it in your pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and put the extreme power booster on right now and we are going to continue filming here you can see I've got the uh, TFR AB extreme power booster uh, extreme power amplification boost booster I mean excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the back of the TFR1 rod and then we're going to we're going to do our complete our long distance uh, demonstration test. Let me get a little bit of sunlight here on it so you can see it. So okay, so it's on there pretty good and we're ready to go. We're ready to continue shooting. <laughs> 